Have you heard about the change to change in ITIL 4? Well, I'm Joe Peacock with a critical update from IT Pro TV. It's January 2020, middle of January 2020, and Axelos have announced very, very recently, within the last sort of a few days, that there is going to be a change to the change control practice that was actually released earlier in 2019 as part of the ITIL 4 series. Now, as part of that, ITIL 4 framework, we did actually see change management. Well, we saw the name of that change between ITIL 3 and ITIL 4 to change control. And of course, we also saw that change from a from a process into a practice. Well, of course, we know that a practice is, well, everything that's needed to take that input and turn it into an output. It's not just about the process. The process is the set of steps that's going to get us there, but it's also about the tools that we need, the skills that we need, the people that we need to take that input and turn it into an output. So we had change control practice. But one of the, you know, one of the big issues that we do have with ITIL is the fact that ITIL can be seen as being a little bit too prescriptive. And of course, the term change control will suggest that prescriptive nature too. It would suggest very, very tight control. And so what we wanted to do was to actually take that prescriptive nature and take any sort of negative connotations away. And we use the term now change enablement. So we have a change enablement practice. I have to say, I like it because we're talking about facilitating change. We're not talking about adding in bureaucracy. That's exactly what we don't want to do. And that's exactly what we should avoid with any efficient process. So we want to take away that bureaucracy and we want to enable change. So the practice includes the process, but also the tools and the skills and the people that are needed to enable transformation of that input into the output, whatever that desired output may be. So don't forget, we're in January 2020, this is ITIL 4, and we're now looking at change enablement as a practice. That's a change to a change that's just happened. I'm Joe Peacock, and this has been a critical update from IT Pro TV.